soccer match? That was good. Uh, Germany, England, it was exciting. It was a boring first half, but England turned it on in the second half. It was 3-3, I believe, and got pretty rowdy in there. It was cool. Yeah, I was going to ask you, I know that crowd is, is insane. It's yeah, that was really cool. It's a cool experience. Wait, what's the adjustment been like just for you coming over here? Time, time difference, the world difference and all that. Yeah, you know, there's a handful of us that did this back in 17, and so um, I think that is – you know, it's extremely beneficial. Uh, it wasn't the best experience in 17 because I didn't know how to acclimate to it. and um, But I feel like I'm handling it a little different now. So um, I feel like I'm adjusted. The weather, a nice change, to be honest. And uh, yeah. What do you tell the younger guys who have never done before? What kind of advice do you give them as far as to adjust to it? Yeah, I mean, um, we kind of covered that um, before we took off, just kind of how to you know, try to sleep on London time, not American time, and um, just try to get acclimated right away. Because Sunday comes quick, and if your body's not ready, it can, it can be uncomfortable. But um, I think the coaching staff and the trainers have done a great job giving us information on how to how to do that. Were you surprised how few teams? I mean, it seems like seventy-five, maybe ninety percent of the teams that come over here do it on Fridays now. Like, I mean, do you think this is? Yeah, look, I don't want to give away our secrets, but it seems to be seems to be the right way to do it. I don't know. I can't I can't imagine playing a game in three days right now because I know those guys usually come over Fridays. When, you know, when we played in Miami, they came over Friday morning, and I think Minnesota's doing the same. And I've heard from guys on the team that's not fun, um, but you know that's a professional sleep doctor doctor making recommendations on both sides. So um, there's reasons for both, but I am a huge proponent of getting over here early. You're not kicking on grass or something, right? Correct. Yep. No, we played at Wembley in 17, and that was grass. I believe this stadium was built to host American football and soccer. And um, it was actually cool. I saw the video the NFL posted, I believe it was yesterday, of the field transitioning. So that was really cool. Obviously, um, I like the consistency of turf a little better. But um, – I mean, we're practicing on grass throughout the week, so um, it doesn't really change much. And the conditions, I guess the only thing that's going to matter is whether it's raining windy in the stadium. Yeah, I will say that the stadiums over here are a lot more protected from the wind than they are in America. They're full bowls with not many openings. So, like, we went to the game in Wembley on Monday, and it was, you know, 25 mile per hour gust, and we didn't feel a thing in the stadium. So, and I remember that from 17 when we were here, and I've spoken to people who have played in the uh, Tottenham Stadium, and I've heard that's kind of the same there. So that's a benefit, I would say. Um, but we'll scope that all out once we get out there. Will, how would you describe the magic of the NFL to a UK fan that's never been able to see it live? Yeah, what I think about fo American football is that it's always different. Um, you don't really know what's coming. Um, Obviously, there's a lot of rules they need to learn <laughs> uh, that I still haven't even learned them all. Um, but it's exciting. There's not many, you know, lulls in American football. Um, but what I really like is how excited, you know, everyone here is when we come over here. And um, you can see that excitement on the game day. And it's, uh, it's a cool experience for us. And I'm, hopefully it's the same experience for them. Uh, I love it. I mean, that's what I signed up for when I started kicking. Um, I love the attention. I love kind of all eyes on the pressure that comes with that. Um, I would say I'm pretty good at zoning out the crowd noise, but, um, you know, obviously there are instances where you, you notice stuff like that. But, um, when you go to different stadiums. Yeah, every, every stadium is different. Um, what's what's different about here is when we come over here, you know, the fans are wearing 32 different jerseys. So although we're the home team, it's more of a kind of rowdy crowd the whole game, not just you know when we're on offense or defense. So it's a little different, but um, I've been doing this long enough that um, the, the crowd noise is the least of my concerns. <laughs>